Hey, we have on the board this integral square root of 16x squared plus 24x plus 10 dx. Initially I chose this, I thought this would be a quick and easy integral and then I actually did it and realized there's actually quite a bit more going on, but it's good because it'll show a lot of different techniques in one problem. First thing we notice, if we have an integral with a square root like this in it, we would like it for the inside to be a perfect square. But looking at this 10, that's not a perfect square, so this is not gonna factor nicely. But what we can do is complete the square. So what I'm gonna do is let's rewrite this. We have 16 is a perfect square, so we're gonna rewrite that part. We'll write 4x plus three squared. Then if you just multiply that out, you notice that that's gonna be 16x squared plus 24x plus nine. Close, so what we need is we need an extra one in order to have the same expression in here. And now's a good time to use trig substitution because we have it in a form of something squared plus one, which also can be written as a square. And because we have this identity, we know that tan squared of x plus one equals secant squared of x. The right substitution here is gonna be for tan x. So what we'll do is we'll substitute four x plus three equal to tan of t. And we'll take the derivative when we have <clears throat> on the left side four dx equals secant squared t dt. I'm just gonna divide out the four so that we have um, a substitution we can use for dx. Then plugging these values in, plugging in for 4x plus 3 and dx, we'll rewrite this and we're going to have our square root 4x plus 3 is tan squared t plus 1 and then our dx part is just going to be secant squared t dt over 4. But then we have an identity we just did, for he did here. We have this as secant squared but it's under the square root, so the square root of secant squared is just secant. So then we'll rewrite this and bring a 1 fourth out front. So what we need to do next is really just integrate secant cubed t. Okay, so now I wanna just focus on this integral of secant cubed t. It's a fairly common integral, but let's do it out the work. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this using integration by parts, using the DI method or tabular integration. What we'll do is we'll create two columns, one to differentiate and one to integrate. What we'll do is split secant cubed into two functions because if we do that and we split it like secant of t and secant of square t, you'll notice that this becomes easy to integrate on the right side here. But doing that, the integral of secant square t is just tan of t, just kind of a common der the derivative of tan of t is secant squared. Then the derivative of secant is going to be secant t tan t. Then when we write this out, we're gonna have, this is gonna be part of the solution and then this part is gonna be another integral. So what I'm gonna do, let's call this integral i and that's gonna be our integral of secant cubed t. And the first part's gonna be this diagonal, secant t tan of t minus this integral um, let's multiply together the tangents. We'll have secant t tan squared t dt. But then we can go back and use that same identity we had before. We had tan squared t plus 1 equals secant squared. We can rewrite this piece as secant squared minus 1. Then distributing this here, and we can rewrite this whole thing. We're going to have secant t tan t minus the integral of secant cubed t. Um, this here's gonna be a minus secant t, but we distribute another minus sign. So this is gonna be an integral of secant of t. Then this is a well-known integral. So this is actually just ln secant plus tangent. So we're gonna clean this up and we'll write it again. Our whole integral i is gonna be secant t tan t Minus, I'm gonna read, this is actually the same thing as this here. So we're gonna just rewrite this as i. And then we're gonna have this integral, which is gonna be ln absolute value secant t plus tan t plus c if you want. <laughs> then for the last step, let's just add this on both sides. We'll just add this here. And we're gonna say 2i 
equals secant t tan t plus ln sec t tan t plus c. But then we'll just divide out our two and we'll have this whole thing over two. Although really not over the c because the c is a constant and it doesn't matter. So we'll just leave that like that. So then now that we have, we found our value for secant cubed t, let's just plug that back in and we don't want to forget our one fourth. Okay, so now we're getting close. We have our one fourth and we have our value for the integral of secant cubed. And clearly we can multiply this one fourth and half and have an eighth. But I think before we do that, we want to just notice that we only have two values that we need to plug in. We want to get this back to x and we need to know secant of t and tan of t. We already have tan of t. We already have tan of t, but we want to find secant of t. And what we can do is draw a little triangle. So if we have an angle t, if tangent is 4x plus 3, we can write this as 4x plus 3 over 1. And with the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we know that here our hypotenuse has to be 4x plus 3 squared plus 1 squared. But we already did that. That was what we did initially to break this down. So we end up with the same, like our original integral right here on the hypotenuse. So then this is gonna give us our value of secant t because cosine is opposite over hypotenuse. And so for secant, we just flip it. So secant of t is just gonna be this thing. So then all we need to do now is just plug all this messy stuff back in and then we should be done. So I'm gonna take our one fourth and a half, we're gonna have an eighth out front. Our secant's gonna be this. Unfortunately, I think I have to write that a bunch of times, so we'll just do it. Tan t is gonna be four x plus three. Plus we're gonna have the ln of our secant again, which is gonna be this whole thing. Plus our tangent value, which is four x plus three plus c. And I think we're done. got this problem from my quiz integrals with roots i'll provide a link in the description thanks for watching